All right, apologize for the long space in between uploads. I was gonna make another video, but I ended up scrapping the whole thing because I just didn't like it. But, Corbear's here, and... I've got it all registered because it runs and drives great. I, what is it that, oh yes. Last time where I left off, I was waiting for that oil filter to come in, and I don't think, yeah, okay. So, another thing that happened was this car had the wrong PCV system on it. Let me just try to pop this one out. Alright, so... This is the new, well, uh, used PCV tube that I put in here, the correct one. The old one, if you remember, or I'll just go grab it right now. All right, so this is the old PCV tube that was in here. This is actually um, the correct one for the dual air cleaner setup. Mine is the single air cleaner setup. So uh, it didn't work, but if you remember correctly, um, so at least just pop in and out but this hose or this tube right here uh, had a hose coming and went up into there so that's where I thought it went and then this one it might be the other way around but this one had the hose going to the PCV and if you can see the size of this hole compared to compared to the size of <clears throat> this one you can see that this one is a lot more restrictive. It only has that tiny little hole. So that made a huge difference in how the car uh, runs. And another thing that I did was uh, properly synchronize the carburetors. And that just, you know, basically fixed all my running issues. Uh, I've been actually been daily driving this thing for past five days. Well, you know, just driving it as much as possible. And it's been good. I've taken it up to like 65 miles per hour and it's just been cruising. Uh, it feels great. The only thing I was going to do now was uh, I notice whenever I'm passing by a car or a wall, I can hear my uh, rucker arms clacking. So I was just going to adjust them right now because, you know, the engine finally got up to hot temperatures and everything got warmed up comfortable with each other so i guess and that's why they started uh clacking again but yeah so change the pcv system synchronize the carburetors and it's been great i'll start it up right now okay so i did drive it around yesterday but this is basically a cold start <laughs> Maybe I didn't. Maybe the chokes aren't on. Okay, but. My muffler has been rattling itself loose because I've been neglecting to put an exhaust hanger on. Thing it's just been running and driving great. Um, I passed the safety inspection on it. I forget what date it was, but uh, they did record the mileage, and I believe I've put about 60 miles on this thing already. So, yeah, I've just been having a blast driving this thing around. I get tons of looks, people taking videos from their cars. It's great, and uh. I didn't know carpet was so, uh, I thought the carpet was going to be more expensive, but I just looked up on Clark's how much it was. It's a pretty reasonable price, so, you know, I, I really hate this carpet. It's, it's just not good, so we're going to rip this thing out of here. Rip out this insulation that just, look at this. Look at all that water. Yeah, 
my poor floors. I'm so sorry. Jeez, at least it's not terribly rusty. But yeah, we're gonna take all this crap out and um, we'll see if there's something else I can put in. I'm gonna rev it just a bit so you can uh, see if you can hear the valves or rocker arms clicking. Mostly hear it from that side over there. Oh yeah, and uh, we fixed the leak from there and oil pan isn't leaking at all, so that's good. I keep forgetting where I left off last time. It's been a while since I uh, uploaded. All right, so I just shut it off just to get the valve cover off. Once I get this off, I'll go ahead and start it back up. And then uh, the correct procedure for these is loosen the rocker arm until you can hear it start clicking and then start tightening it once the clicking goes away, that's zero lash. And then you do quarter turn, wait, a, wait 10 seconds, another quarter turn, wait 10 seconds until you do uh, one complete full turn. And you just do that for all of them.
All right, so this is the setup for doing the next side because I don't want the exhaust blowing straight into my face. I'm gonna have to do it laying this way. Uh, yeah, hope hope I don't get burned. There might be enough. Yeah, there'll be enough room, but it'll be tight. But I'm not gonna record this side because I've already shown you that side, but uh, I will let you know if I get third degree burns. I've also optioned myself out with a burn sleeve, so we're gonna get this done. Okay, all done with this side, and oh man, that was, that was hell, man. Um, this thing is super hot. Mmm, yeah, um, recommend doing this in like the winter or something, just, it's very hot. Protect yourselves, don't get burned. Okay, oil level's back to where it's supposed to be, and uh, now we're just gonna go take it for a rip around the block. Okay, so I'm out of here right now. Um, I was just driving it down the road, smelled something burning. Then I hopped on the gas and I saw a bunch of smoke coming out. I just went to autos and ran out to fill up with the transmission fluid because uh, as I was getting out of my neighborhood, I felt the shifting weird. I checked the fluid, it was empty. So I just filled it up right now and then I smelled that burning smell. So I'm wondering if, if I'm getting transmission fluid through here and it's burning through the carbs because I see this is wet. Okay, right now I'm just going to start it up, see if uh, we get any white smoke on startup. I don't think we will because I'm pretty sure I overfilled the trans. Didn't mean to pause it there. All right, let's see. Uh, pretty sure it's transmission fluid uh, most likely overfilled it uh, the reason I say that and I feel like it's that because uh, I didn't notice the smoke would come out um, you know when I'm actually driving so I step on the gas transmission fluid flows back and then um, this hose was wet and you see we got our modulator right there so maybe the fluid a little too high uh, swooshed back got sucked up into that modulator and came through this line and got burnt because whenever I rev it just you know by itself it's not smoking but I want to test that right now just drive it I guess this would be a good time to show everyone the underside of the Corvair properly. Bring it up all the way. I was going to drain a bit of that transmission fluid that I've got. Alright, let's see. So, yeah, that hole, or that, that little thing right there is what I've got to drain. It's not focusing. But right there, that little cube. I've been dripping a decent amount. And I'm still leaking oil out of somewhere. I think this valve cover's leaking over here. Okay, so uh, back from work, was not able to get that, uh, that little fill plug out on the transmission. Uh, I didn't have, I tried to use a socket. I tried to use a 18 and a 17, I believe. 17 was too small, 18 was slipping. But, uh, my drive from home, maybe like 10 minutes of driving, and no smoke out of the exhaust. Not sure about, uh, in the morning whenever I drove to work. It was dark, it was a little bit dark, so couldn't see if there was any smoke, but no smoke on the way to work. So, not sure if that problem's gonna come back again. I did smell a little bit of burning smell. That might have just been residual that was in the exhaust or a different type of smell I did notice. So yeah, I guess I could just drive it around a bit, right? Well, I don't want 
to show you guys me driving around the neighborhood again because you've seen that plenty of times. The next time I want to see, the next time I want to post myself driving, it's going to be out on some real streets so you, you guys can enjoy. But um, it's been this many miles since I got my safety inspection. I'll crop a little picture and put it over here, you know. Alright, so it's another day. I drove it to work, back from work. Still no smoke. Um, so, mystery problem, I guess. Um, don't know if it'll come back. I have a feeling it was a transmission fluid. Like I said, I wasn't able to take that fill plug out to get it at the correct level. Or don't know if it was a... Uh... Anyways, hello. This is me. But another thing I noticed when it's cold, um, obviously chokes are still closed. And, you know, I have to really let it warm up for maybe like five minutes before I actually get out on a road that's like a more than 40 miles per hour because at like 20 it'll like just like and just doesn't want to go anywhere so yeah I need to let it warm up longer whenever I start uh, you know just whenever I'm about to go somewhere but right now I'm gonna drive it around a bit to get a thumbnail picture so I can actually post a video because I haven't posted in forever I don't know why I'm showing you around the car but yes, I did just notice a change in idle once I started up and it's cold. It kind of uh, sounds like it's running a bit rough. Uh, it ran for maybe uh, two minutes and then the idle kind of smoothed out. And uh, yeah, so I want to go drive it. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to conclude the video here. Well, kind of. Um, I just cleaned it and waxed it because I'm going to take it to a, a car show today. And it's actually going to be the second car show I've taken it to. I wish I got a video of the first one, but funny story. So in the first car show I took it to, uh, well, first, I drove like 20 minutes there and back. And so that was the longest I've like driven this thing, like actually drive, drive. And uh, it was, I was going like 65 there and back. And this thing was just taking it. But um, yeah, I parked right next to this dude in his Porsche 911. And it was like a new car, so you know, he paid a lot for it. And it had this carbon fiber wing in the back. And <laughs> everyone was just around my car looking at it. And no one was around his. But yeah, I'll definitely get video of the car show I'm going to today. And uh, you know, I'll even get footage of me driving it over there. And I'll post it the same day I'm posting this video. Or start recording it the same day I'm posting this video. But I just want to thank everyone for watching and welcome to any new subscribers. Please stick around on the channel. I have lots of plans for this car and just a whole lot of fun that I have for the future. <laughs> uh, see you next time.